January 6, 2011. Where to begin? Uh, I'm glad everybody enjoyed my eagle pictures this morning. Uh, it's, it always amazes me when I go down there and watch them. Um, I'm going to start off with a story that was messaged to me earlier today. Shift of magnetics shift of the Earth's magnetic north pole impacts Tampa airport. Uh, apparently scientists say magnetic north pole is moving towards Russia and the fallout has reached of all places Tampa International Airport. Now I'll attach the link below. Uh, apparently they have to uh, close some parallel runways because they're not in harmony with the degrees or whatever, 180 degree approach blah blah blah. Um, like I said, I'll attach that link below. It's just one more story coming through on uh, the shift. And then I'm going to go to, uh, let's go to this one. Now Sam F 2000 channel uh, put out a video today uh, shouting out this new website called The Big Wobble. Now the Big Wobble's uh, a website that's that's put all of the fish and bird kills together. He's, um, this guy's running a uh, ongoing um, count on where and when these things are happening. Uh, and he's been pretty up to date with it. Um, the birds in Sweden, Texas, China, Kentucky, Louisiana, Arkansas, Germany, Japan, Caroline, Tuscan, Somerset, United Kingdom, and a uh, story, thousands of dead birds fall out of the sky North and South America. Now for the fish, they've got Florida, Arkansas, Kent Island, Brazil, Wales, United Kingdom. Um, dead fish discovered uh, near Abergavenny, Haiti, Australia, dead fish clog lake at airport, Indiana, Maryland, Canada, Italy, Petersburg, United Kingdom, New Zealand, <sighs> and then Sam also put out a video, um, God Help Us All, and uh, on that video attached a link to another mass fish death in Lincoln Park, uh, Michigan, and I will attach a link to that below. Um, this is a this is just an everyday guy walking down the park going, you know, why is the news lying to us? This never happens. Uh, it's definitely a must see and thank you for videotaping that by the way. And his channel is uh, Rodney585. So let's go to the Extinction Project. Seismic Apocalypse 100 Earthquakes Shake Village in Southwest China to Pieces. Uh, January 5th, 2011, our analysis of what was happening under the ground beneath China three days ago, as it turns out, was an accurate, accurate assessment. Seismometers were registered very strong reading across China. And they've got the graph, of course. And then there's a video on here, uh, 92 trimmers hit Yunnan Province, China. Record snowfall defends on, def descends on China capital. <laughs> Um, and then they got the story on the dead fish wash ashore in New Zealand. Uh, RSOE was saying something about all the eyes were missing out of the fish. So they thought it might be a, like a, a commercial fish dump or a, a net tearing. But I, why are all the eyes missing out of the fish? Um, birds fall out of the sky in Sweden. We had a 6.6 .6 quake strikes Loyalty Island in the South Pacific today. Mount Etna volcano in Italy becomes active. Mount Etna in Sicily has once again become active, erupting, erupting large amounts of ash, reported Monday Italian National Institute, a geophysicist and volcanology. Seismologists have recorded an eruption of a volcano at Mount Etna and say that the it is accompanied by the ejection of volcanic bombs, large stones, and the large amount of ash in the area southeast of the crater on Monday night. The most active emissions dur for duration ranging from one to three minutes occurred between midnight and two o'clock in the morning. Interesting. 
And then again, the big chill returns to the U.S. Uh, we are expecting a big storm in the Northeast again, so uh, watch out on my New Yorkers and Northeasterners. Now on Disaster Alert Network, um, oh, let's see. Let's get past the terrorist stuff. Da, da, da. Netherlands chemical fire now under control. Uh, local authorities say massive blaves that broke out Wednesday afternoon at a chemical firm in the town of Moor... I'm not really sure. But in the Netherlands, there's a... They've had a chemical fire, now they say they have it under control. Um, floods hit north and east part in Sri Lanka. Flash flood in the Caribbean area, uh, Guadalupe Islands. Uh, regional authorities say five people had died on France's Caribbean island of Guadalupe after torrential rains. And uh, there's a lot going on actually on this one. Um, earthquake in the Middle East and Iran. 17 villages in the area were affected. Uh, building damage to the works, I believe it was a 5.3 magnitude. Flash floods in uh, China, torrential icy rain across five provinces in southern China has forced 58,000 people to evacuate from their damaged homes. Uh, I cannot seem to get rid of this cold. Asbestos risk in Australia flood cleanup. Canaberia, the Queensland Attorney General said homeowners could face asbestos risk during the flood cleanup and to pay close attention to that so be very careful about what's in that water well, we had the same problems here in Des Moines in 93 when we had the super floods and and all kinds of nasty things in the water uh, Yellow River Basin suffers, suffers severe erosion Beijing a recent report by the Yellow River Conservancy Commission revealed that 62% of the Yellow River Basin area has been affected by erosion. So they're having a serious problem there. Isn't that with the Three Gorge Dam? Isn't that the big dam and all the flooding they've been having? Uh, wildfires burned 8,000 acres of land in the state of Texas. Uh, apparently 8,000 acres of land in southern Texas over the weekend. Flooding in South America, Brazil. More flooding in Australia. And that is, I think, about it for today. Um, try not to bore you too long. Um, definitely stay tuned on what's going on, and um, there are a lot of stories going on about why these fish and these birds are all dying off at once. And uh, let me tell you, I've been covering these disasters throughout the summer. And um, I've seen fish kills, and I've seen bird kills, but, but nothing like this. At least, you know, not this year. Something's definitely up, and the media is definitely, the mainstream media is definitely um, trying to put a stopper on it. So uh, let's definitely pay attention. And I appreciate all the, the stories people are sending to me. So if you find something, you let me know, all right? Enjoy while you can.